I'm not gonna lie guys, I am so in love with this bike. Oh, what a gamble, what a gamble. <laughs> completely my fault. Hi Sprocketeers, welcome back to the channel. My name is Safi Sprocket and today I am so incredibly excited to be sharing my brand new motorcycle with you guys. I am so excited. It got dropped off at my house at lunchtime today. I've been working from home and the entire afternoon I have been like staring at the CCTV in the garage just looking at it like oh, hurry up five o'clock, hurry up five o'clock. I've been so excited to jump on this thing and after two and a half years of you guys bullying me about taking my SV650 off-roading I have finally given in and I've purchased a brand new bike now the bike that I've gone for I have never test rode this before I know a lot of you were taking a guess on Instagram as to what it was going to be I know a lot of you have been looking at some of the bikes that I've been test riding and to be honest I took a little bit of a gamble and basically this is a bike that I've never rode before. I have no experience of it. The reason that I purchased it was because it turned out to be a really good deal. <laughs> it was the best I could afford. So in true keeping with the Sprocketeer fashion, I went for the bike that I could afford. Um, whether that was a good decision, I didn't know. But having rode it for the last half an hour, oh, it's amazing guys, I'm so excited, I'm so happy, I'm just... <sighs> so I'm not going to drag this out any longer than it needs to be, let's go take a look. <laughs> I'm gonna be really honest with you guys. I'm having like a little bit of an issue. And that issue is my bike comes with a center stand, but I've never been taught how to use one. So I don't really know like what I'm, so how do I like get it on? Is it, oh my God. Like how does it, I think it's like, oh my God, this is gonna go like disastrous. I might have to get someone to show me at ABR. Does it like go forward or what? I don't know how to do it. Oh my god. Right, I think I'm gonna have to like. I don't know how to actually like put it on the center stand. That's really embarrassing, isn't it? I've always wanted a center stand because they're like really useful for cleaning your chain. But I don't know how to use it. <laughs> And I'm scared of dropping it. Oh no. What am I gonna do? I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm sure it will be fine. Now the long-term plan is I'm gonna get rid of the rims, we're gonna put some spoke rims on it, we're gonna swap out the suspension, we're gonna move the exhaust higher up if I can, we're gonna be looking into some luggage. We are probably going to put some protection up front. I wanna get some heated grips installed. I wanna get the full works. The mirrors are probably gonna come off as well. Um, the whole idea is that I wanna make it as slim lined as possible and move everything up on the bike so that I can start doing trips that are a little bit more adventurous and a little bit more suited to the, the wonderful disasters that I like to have. <laughs> but, 
But basically the situation I'm now in is that I have spent all of my money on this. So the upgrades are pretty much gonna be happening one at a time as I can afford them. Now realistically, I'm not gonna be making any changes for the next two months because I ran out of money buying it but uh, I regret nothing. So uh, I did get a really nice shiny free tank bag. So uh, <laughs> thanks Honda. <laughs> now, if you guys have any advice on what kind of mods I should be doing with the bike, please let me know because so far I've done a little bit of a Google, I've done a little bit of a research, but I don't actually know that much about this bike. I just kind of went off a lot of the reviews that are online, but I do know that I want to kind of cut it out for more trails, more kind of like, off-road tracky kind of nonsense because that's the thing that I really like to do but I also wanted a bike that was like a little bit more suitable for doing long distances so I think this is like a really good choice but yeah if you guys could recommend mods different things that you guys have done at home to make your bikes a little bit more suitable to muddy tracks while maintaining the comfort please do let me know because it would be fantastic so <laughs> now I know straight away that a lot of you are going to be asking questions about Rocket that's going to be happening so I will address what's happening to Rocket in the next video <laughs> which I'll put out next week um, he's had a little bit of an alteration um, <laughs> but I'll show you guys next week so in the meantime if you guys want to see more great bike content don't forget to hit subscribe uh, ride safe stay crazy and I'll see you next week my name is Safi Sprocket signing off <laughs>